Good morning, folks. We have three interesting links to share with you today, a weather watch, a couple of earthquakes, and a tiny little solar eruption. Let's start there. We're going to spaceweathernews.com and checking out the last 24 hours on our star here at 193 angstroms. There isn't a whole lot to see, certainly no major eruptive activity. Top right near the end, however, that is where the only action can be found. A little filament destabilization, a shift in the corona, and then at those sunspots that were born days ago but had been silent, a small, tight, almost linear CME came out, not headed anywhere at Earth, but certainly aesthetically beautiful, and it did produce a CME. Of course, the next real space weather we expect here at Earth is from the Earth-facing coronal hole. It is producing a seismic uptick now with another two days before its actual solar wind stream arrives. And that seismic uptick has seen it hit both Papua New Guinea and Iran. The Iran event is probably an aftershock from their 7.3 last month. Let's go to our top stories and we're starting in X-ray. Chandra has taken a look at one point of light they thought was in the Andromeda galaxy, but now believe it is actually just photobombing it from a thousand times further away, and it's actually two black holes close in. Now all of these revelations come from this, one blue smudge in the x-ray. Fascinating. What actually is fascinating is the new user-friendly modeling out from NASA. This is not some NASA video. This is actually me playing with the models here. It can be learned in just a few minutes. Everything from glaciers to Grace's gravity to looking at how sea level rise could affect Florida and Texas. Interesting article up next in the dark matter debate. Now while the Axion and WIMP searches have completely failed, and that goes for everything else in terms of looking for dark matter, Long ago and far away, you might remember that sterile neutrinos were removed from consideration and the equations. Well, these folks think that might not have been such a good idea. They've gone back to the drawing board and are looking at old ideas. Top weather alert for today hits southeast Australia, even though the low is south of the nations there. The convergence line reaches up and that's going to be a pounding for the next couple of hours. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close and we greatly appreciate your support. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got some new Deeper Look episodes, and tomorrow is podcast day. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.40 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.